take this opportunity to walk through our incumbent worker application to emphasize how easy the process is. You can locate the fillable application on our website at www.omjallen.com. Click on the employer and select incumbent worker training. On the application, pages 1 through 3 are filled with detailed information on the incumbent worker training program, including applicant requirements and allowable and unallowable costs. Page 4 of the application needs to be completed with your contact information and company details, such as number of full-time employees you currently have, your company's federal ID and unemployment comp ID numbers, the estimated amount your company spends on training each year, and whether your company currently utilizes the Ohio Means Jobs Job Center, noted on the application as the one-stop, to post your openings, have job fairs, or testing sessions. Page 5 of the application is asking about the details regarding the training project. Provide as much detail to the training specific, such as description of training, expected start and end dates, total reimbursement amount you are requesting, and number of trainees participating in the training. The next section are the details for the training provider, who or what company will be providing the training, and the training provider contact information. The training program focus is where you note the reason for the training. Upgrade employee skills, increase wages, increase retention, etc. Mark all that apply. Next section, you will need to mark what benefits you expect from your staff participating in this training, such as lower turnover, increased trainee wages, creating new jobs, etc. Mark all that apply and provide additional details on the anticipated outcome on the line below. Please note on the last line on this page where you learned about the incumbent worker training program from. This information helps improve our marketing and outreach to our local employers. Page 6 of the application is the budget worksheet. This is an estimated budget for the training project that you are requesting reimbursement for. We will complete a final budget once the training is completed and all costs have incurred. This budget is your best guess on what the training project will cost. On the budget, the IWT assistance column are costs that you are requesting we cover, the employer column are costs you expect to cover, and the total column is the total costs of each row. Please note some items are allowable costs under this program. Please refer back to page 3 and review the allowable cost and unallowable cost sections. Employers are responsible for a share of the total training costs. Employer shares are determined by the number of full-time employees. Please see page 2, Applicant Requirements section for additional information. Majority of the time, the employer's share is met by paying trainee wages during the training as trainee wages are not an allowable cost under the incumbent worker program. The budget category breaks down the training cost into sections. Only input estimated costs in the sections that apply to the training project. The estimated budget helps us determine if and how much reimbursement we can pre-approve. Pages 7 through 9 of the application are the agreement terms between Ohio Means Jobs and your company. Please sign and date page 10. And please note that all applications must be submitted and pre-approved prior to the training start date. The last page is the trainee log. Required fields in the log include the trainee's first and last names, social security number, and current hourly wage. All trainees listed on the log must be employed by your company for at least six months or longer to be included in the incumbent worker reimbursement. Please submit the completed application to Jesse Doyle at jesse.doyle at jfs.ohio.gov. Contact Jesse with any questions regarding the incumbent worker training program or application at 419-999-0332. We look forward to partnering with our local employers to provide incumbent worker training funding and assisting in the upskilling of our local workforce.